Let me ask you guys. If in order to make Destiny a better game, you had to get rid of one, which do you think should go? The entire Crucible or all of Destiny on PC? Make sure you listen to the entire video first, then leave a comment with your vote. And if you haven't seen our latest video yet, make sure you go check it out. You don't want to miss it. I, when I'm not trying to, you know, practice and be good and do better and, and the game's just shitting on me and not letting me, like, I'm fine. I'm fine with the game. Because yeah, that's how it was casually. designed. Yeah. The PvE aspect of this game has always been very, very good. The problem All with right, that, there though... Are some, there are some, some mechanics in raids that can be annoying as hell, yeah. and some of the stuff can be repetitive. But overall, the PvE side of the game has been very, very good. Yeah. And always was. Um, what happened was the seasonal model really, really ruined PvE for a lot of people because... It felt so unrewarding and so grindy, and people ha started doing PVE even though they didn't want to. Whereas before in D1 and even the beginning of D2, it was more I'm doing it because I I enjoy it or want to or need you know some grind or something like that. It just it swung the other way of of dry. They ran out of content, but still came out with stuff yeah. they were making you do, and you hated it. How so. unexpected. Oh, it's Bungie, Dave. Everything goes from 1 to 11. There's no in between. There's no in between. But, having said that, we've said it, I don't know how many times, the game is beautiful, the music is the awesome, the gunplay is brilliant. It's just, it's mo all focused on PvE. Power. The Crucible just got bad, and they I, let it yes, rot yes, for so on. long. It's got to a stage now really where they're hemorrhaging players. Adequate. Not just recently, but over the last couple of years, they've been hemorrhaging players. And they haven't done anything about it yet. Well, because they're spread too thin. And I, I had said, yeah. before Destiny 2 came out, and I told you this in the DM, I... I have thought about trying to find the tweet. I know I tweeted something about it, but I said it multiple times during streams. I'm worried that Destiny 2 on PC is going to spread them too thin, that they won't be able to keep up. And this was back when they were still with, uh, they were coming out with Activision. They had another studio helping them. And I had a couple of worries that they were going to be spread too thin, trying to keep up with three platforms you had PC, Xbox, and PlayStation trying to balance it between all the different ones and that PC uh, would, if something was broken on PC, that it would then fall over to console getting it nerfed or something like that too. Like, how are they going to balance separately? And they said that they would and stuff. And back then I had said your best experience is going to be on console this is a great game to play on console and i really 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 they they kept up with it i thought i was wrong for a long time and i i'll let's just say i was wrong for the beginning when they were with activision but but here we are now where i honestly believe that pc is really 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 hurting the franchise the majority of the problems this game has are due to pc and I know it plays better on PC. I know it looks gorgeous on PC. I know it, it's smoother, all that stuff. But you take away PC. Let's just pretend PC Destiny does not exist. And it's just PlayStation and it's just Xbox. Your biggest problem there is um, DDoSing still happens. The IP addresses of people is still an issue. But the cheating's not even a, a, a talking point right now. Um, balance is a lot different. The, the guns, what's, what's the biggest concern? Uh, mountaintop, you know, like it's not as yeah, spammy. The, the it's one just, Texas is now spamming. Right. But it's still not as bad on console. Like the game. I mean, I know use it in PC <laughs> or in PC in uh, PVP. PVP. But like this game is, is not anywhere near as bad on console as it is on pc but all the streamers are on pc 
And so all the streamers are miserable because of all the problems on PC and all and we're all talking about it from a PC perspective. And but, it's not just the fact that because they're all on PC they're all miserable, it's because they're all on PC. All the big streamers, the huge big guys, we all know who they are. Because they're all on PC, the problems are shown more. Yes. Because they, they yeah. have the bigger audience looking at them. And when they get constant beaver errors, it goes widespread throughout the community. And when they get get put up against cheaters in whatever part of Crucible they're Ooh, doing, hold on a second. It, go, it goes out Do you need to a much wider audience than if it was just a small minority of people playing on PC and streaming at the same time. Yeah. I mean, like I said, imagine if PC Destiny did not exist, all right? And everybody was on console, whether it was PlayStation or Xbox, take your choice. It's no longer console exclusive or timed exclusive. And now you've got new consoles coming out. The raid race is fair. Uh, trials, your biggest worry is DDoSing and, you know, they could work on something to hide IP addresses like they did with Steam or something, you know, like that, that would be the issue. That was an issue in Destiny 1. Um, it's just, it's a totally different environment for the community and totally different conversations that people are having. If Bungie then sat back and said, right, we're not going to do the next expansion DLC story advanced story mode in January or February like we normally do in instead we're going to spend November December January and February working our asses off to remake crucible would you put up with no content yeah no new for content sure I said that for three months if if the Hundred emoji. You knew to that they were going to get a much better crucible experience. Well, okay, so I was I was gonna I was about to say I would wait a year for a better crucible experience, uh, but I'm gonna backtrack that because of their track record. You know, like them saying they're gonna do something and what we actually get. I'm at the point where I don't trust that anymore. So, on the surface. I would say yes, for sure. But it also depends on what we get. The thing is, like I said this back when Fortnite did their offline thing yeah. where where they wiped Fortnite off. And it, there was, uh, what, was it a week where it was down? Uh, five or six days, something like that, yeah. But yeah. it was a brilliant idea. It, and for sure. And I said when the... Brilliantly done. Yeah, and I said when the Almighty comes back then... The best thing they could possibly do is just have it crash into the tower, wipe out, you know, everybody for a week, take that down, hell, even a month, take that downtime and just fix some of the problems that they're having with the game so that we come back to a nice, healthy environment. The thing is, like, who was it? Shigeru Miyamoto or whatever? Uh, right here. A delayed game is eventually good, but a rush game is forever bad. That is... Every every fucking person out there that makes a video game or has a hand in making a video game or even plays a video game should always remember those words because it's, because it's the absolute truth. You'd ra you'd rather wait for a good stable product than rush it and be constantly putting your fingers in the holes to plug all the problems or constantly putting band aid. Right now we are getting band aids. Everything we get in this game is a band aid. It's to try and cover up a deeper issue, a deeper flaw, a deeper problem without actually fixing the problem. And I know uh, Cross put out a video about, you know, them vaulting things and the real reason for doing that, which they should, and which we kind of all knew that was going to happen. Nothing gets taken out of this game forever. It's reworked. That's just common sense. Um, but they need to do that. But um, I would, as a player, and as a player that plays this game almost every day, would welcome the game being taken offline for even up to a month to fix fix some of the problems. And here's the thing. I've played this game since it released, okay? The, here's how Destiny works. PvE is the heart and soul of this game. The fantasy aspect, uh, feeling powerful, is the heart and soul of this game. You then take that, and some people, 
then take that into the crucible to do it against other players and further that feeling of power. Okay, the fantasy aspect, the gunplay, all of that, the sound design, the environment, the worlds, all of that is what draws people into this game. And it's what, it's what keeps people coming back, okay? But you have a problem with PvE. Uh, it's, it's limited. You can only play it so much before you get tired of it because it's linear. You know, you go, you do a raid. The raid is always going to be the same every single time you do it. Once you learn the mechanics, once you do it, boom, it, it will never surprise you. It may glitch on you. It may, you know, frustrate you. You may have bad teammates, but it, you know what you're going to get when you do a raid. You go into Crucible, since it's player versus player, it's ever-evolving, ever-changing. The meta changes how you're playing. Your play style changes how you're playing. Uh, the people you're playing against changes how you're playing. PvP, going all the way back to Destiny 1, PvP is what keeps the game alive during dry times of content because they can only come out with content so long. When PvP is bad, then what's keeping the game alive? Then you, then you have hemorrhaging of the player base and that's when things start getting bad back in d1 with the content droughts in between trials is what kept people coming back over and over and over and over again um the grind for you know gallerhorn and all that kind of stuff they had a very 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 good formula to keep this game alive and they tried to reinvent the wheel and failed and then they tried to backtrack and fix their reinvention and get it back to D1 and they failed. And and everything they do is just a different shade of not quite right to where people are, they keep hoping, are we gonna get back to the promised land of this being what it should be? And it's just never, never that thing of, of what yeah, people there, love. It, it just feels like for the last two years, two and a half years, they've been trying to build on a broken foundation. Yes. And so it doesn't matter how many, it doesn't matter how many coats of paint you put on the house, the house is still going to fall apart because it's built wrong. So, yeah, so now people are hoping that, so they're pulling out half of the content, half the planets, to rework them to put them back in the game later. You know, their hope now the hope is okay, maybe this next sort of infusion of reworked content is going to be good, but it all it all comes back to. PvP. P what people don't understand is PvP in Destiny. PvE is great. Th that that's always going to shine. Anytime you can see it when a new trailer comes out, it it tops Twitch. People are excited. They can't wait to play it. They play the shit out of it. Hell, even lame shit like Guardian games, people play the shit out of it. Escalation Protocol. There's so many th amazing things in this game that people would love to do. But PvP is the thing that that keeps the game alive. It is the literal lifeblood of the game. And when that's sour, when that's bad, it drives people away. And they just don't keep up with it like they should to keep it thriving. Um, and I'll tell you what, like, I'm, I'm at the point with PvP. And again, my experience lately a lot has been on PC. So there, that's that goes back to what I was saying earlier. Um, imagine this game without PC. Imagine this game without PvP. What if they chopped off PvP for a little bit and it, and they focused all their time and effort into Gambit? And I mean, not don't get scared about Gambit. I mean Gambit done right, because we all love Gambit the the first day it came out. It is a, it's a very good idea that no other game does that if done right could be amazing or or you know they bring some other stuff back like rift i mean we still can't pick clash i don't know if people understand this but this like you still can't play this game the way you want you can't go in here is it the weekly is it going to prove me wrong nope supremacy you know the game the mode they're taking out of the game because nobody likes it you still can't pick Clash. You still can't play Rift. You still can't do a lot of the different things. Iron Banners control everything in here. Control, 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 control. So, like, they shit the bed in Crucible, and they they keep... The community keeps saying, hey, this is bad, fix it, because we want to play it. We want something good. And they keep saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Renewed focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. But people only have patience for so long. 
Um, so I I would welcome them wiping the game, taking it offline for a month, hell, even longer, and just giving us something good again. They had the perfect opportunity to do it with the Almighty coming down. If they had shut it down for a week, the Almighty crashes into the tower and blows it all to hell, and we go fireballs, black screen, and then in a week or whatever it was, the moment's back back up again. Ikora built the time gate in the tower. She could have used it when she saw the Almighty come and do a cutscene of her God. jumping through the Vex time gate and a week later coming back to a different timeline where we actually destroy the Almighty. And that's how they launched the new game. I mean, the time gate was there for, what, one season and never used again. Yeah. That was their perfect opportunity. We, we, she refined us again in a different timeline, sucks us all through with Osiris, and we destroyed the, the Almighty, and everything carries on in an alternate timeline. Yeah, and that's, that's a thing. That's an amazing idea. And I've heard other amazing ideas, and there's so many different amazing things that they can do. And I, I keep saying, I think a lot of people are in love with what Destiny could be more than what it actually is, because we all come up with these amazing ideas, like, wouldn't it be cool if... And Bungie could totally do them, but it just never ends up happening. We're like, oh, um, you know, there was another one. Like, what if when the Almighty was crashing, what if uh, it it was if we would have done enough community event Seraph Towers, it would have shot it out of the sky. But because we didn't do enough, it comes crashing down and it was our fault. And then that makes all, it's sort of like we impact the game by not playing it you know that there's so many things they can do but i really think it goes back to the original topic of they're spread too thin they can't do these things because this game has so many problems that instead of innovating and doing these amazing things it's kind of like uh if you're good at one thing like i remember people saying should destiny have battle royale and my answer was no Destiny needs to focus on the doing on doing the things they do right, not trying to do everything. Because what ends up happening is you're a mile wide and an inch deep. You've got all this stuff to do and all this stuff to choose from, but none of it is done right. So start whittling off all that stuff and start doing a few things amazing. You know, like and that and that would be like if they if they got rid of Crucible, that leaves them time to do so many amazing things an ever-evolving world in PvE. But they can't because they're spread too thin. Now they got cheaters on PC. So their time is split with all this different stuff to where it goes back to what's a priority. Yeah, Shit, go man. talk to Sloan and then come back out here again. Yeah. Always time. For Can you. you imagine the list of stuff they have to work on for this game? There's just no time to innovate. There's no time to do these amazing ideas because... Of all the different stuff in this game, Chad, I'm not, ig I'm not ignoring you. We're just, we're just hanging and talking. What do you guys think? If you guys have any uh, input, feel free to talk. 